Back inside Bank United Center in Coral Gables, Florida, we get set for a featherweight bout between Fabio Mello and Nick Labosco as we take a look at the tail of the tape and the numbers for these two fighters who have an identical reach as we give you the rules of the cage here at the World Series of Fighting. Ten-point must system. Three judges score the fight based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and cage control. We set it inside the cage. Jazz Securo has the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Our next fight is scheduled for three rounds of the World Series of Fighting Featherweight Division. And now, introducing fighting out of the blue corner. His record is perfect with six wins, zero defeats. He stands five feet, six inches tall. He weighed in at 145 and three quarter pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri. Introducing Nick Lobosco. And now his opponent on my left, fighting out of the red corner. His record sits with 11 wins versus six defeats. He is currently riding a seven fight win streak. He too stands five feet, six inches tall. He weighed in at 145 and three quarter pounds, fighting out of Belo Horizonte, Brazil, presenting Fabio Melo. Your referee is Jorge Alonso. Nick, you ready? Fabio, ready? Let's get it done. So here we go in the featherweight division, Fabio Mello and Nick Labosco. Boy, these guys, uh, I don't know what the uh, fat percentage is, but I guarantee it's low. It's very low, yeah. Mello, Mello faced a whole bunch of uh, tough guys. Oh, yeah. Even Jose Aldo, Takanori Gomi, Imanari. Fred I mean, So you, you name it, yep. he faced them. But uh, this is the first big test here for Nick Bosco. Can he stay undefeated? Can he young, stop that takedown? Young man that fights out of St. Charles MMA. And this is his first time fighting out of the great state of Missouri. So for a young man like Fabio Mello, who has fought in the U.S., Brazil, and Japan, a little more seasoned international fighter. We'll see what Labosco, but boss, you know as well as anyone in this game, anyone can beat anyone on anybody. any given night. That's it. And especially when we got Oof. the southpaw and an orthodox fighter. Wow. The inside low kicks again. How about Mello attacking the inside of the leg and then comes with a combination? Very powerful. Well, both these guys extremely strong, extremely cut in their conditioning, ready to go. And the question is, how does Nick Labosco handle the bright lights of the international experience of a Fabio Mello? Oh, another inside low kick. Not good right now. I can tell you that. He's got to watch it. You got to let him miss those inside low kicks and counter it. It's very important to stop your opponent. You can counter it with the left kick. You move your left kick backwards and then you right away fire back with the left kick. Labosco has two knockouts, two submissions in his 6-0 career. And I don't think he's faced anyone wow. quite as seasoned as Fabio Mello. No, and Mello's got some great striking as well. Wow! Oh! Big kick catches Mello to the temple and now Labosco goes to work! The question is, can Fabio Mello weather the storm? Because he was rocked! Oh, big That's job! It. That's over. Is it! Whoa! 7-0! Three knockouts, two submissions! Talk about the power of Nick Labosco! Nick, Nick! As we were Whoa. talking about the excellent experience in international veteran Fabio Mello, Labosco goes top shelf, boss, and just rocks him. Unreal. Here we go. Let's take a look at it. It's almost like he's luring him in. Boom! Oh, wow. Oh. And right away he went to work. And Look it looked that. like Mello might have survived it. He was in full survival mode. Here he's just rocked. This is... Did a, did a great job here keeping his legs up his hands. And then the big one comes. 
in about right now. He now. The toe. This is the one that catches nope. him, and that's lights out. Oh, man. Beautifully done. Very nice. So Fabio Mello gets up to his feet, and once again, Nick Labosco raining down heavy leather on a man that was just stunned with a kick to the temple. At this point, it is all over. Jorge Alonso stops this fight in the very first round, and Nick Labosco from the Show Me State and St. Louis repping the St. Louis Cardinals lid gets it done. Wow, this is a big win for him. I mean, he fought a seasoned veteran. Yeah. So, boss, as you look back on that replay, and I'm sure Fabio Mello will do the same thing, did he dip when he should have ducked, or what would, he looked like he just dipped right into the kick that Labosco was bringing. The hand was a little bit too low, and the foot just went behind the defense. And that's it. You want to, with high kicks, you always want to block him a little bit away from your head. I always tell people, I never believe it when you put your hand against your head, because then if they kick your hand really hard, you're one with your head. You go down. At seminars, I say, imagine I tape a, a, a focus mitt around your face, and now I hit the focus mitt. Do you think you go down? And they start laughing, and they go, yeah, of course you go down. I say, well, why would you defend yourself then like that? You know, we made the comment, and I meant it in all sincerity, anyone can be anyone in this game on any given night. And tonight, Nick Labosco, with one kick, drops Fabio Mello, who I think everyone would agree was the more seasoned fighter. Even in the early part of this round, it looked like he had control of this fight. And you know what the great thing was? He didn't use any kicks in round one. He set him up and he waited for it for the right moment. We go inside the cage. Jazz Securo has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is over at two minutes and two seconds of round number one. Your winner by knockout, Nick Lobosco. Wow. Oh, man. You got the game, boy, the game.